Hello and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you our new space study unit that we have started. So if that is something that you are interested in, I would love if you stick around. Welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time here, I am a homeschool mom to a fourth grader. We love all things books, homeschool, and sharing our journey with you. And if that is something you are interested in, I would love if you consider hitting that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. So the other day, we were at the library and I saw a Rover story. Now I saw a ton of stuff on social media about this last year. So when I saw this, at our library, I was really excited and wanted to get this. Now we were in the need for a read aloud, so I was like, perfect. This is a great read aloud for us. Well then, that night I was scrolling Instagram and saw a post by Pineapples and Pencils talking about an adorable little space unit that she was using. Well, I got to looking into it and it is by the Little School of Smiths and it is absolutely an adorable space unit. And so that is what I have purchased. It is me and my place in space and this is an early elementary study. So it really is recommended for ages four to eight. However, I looked through it and I think I can beef this up to be sufficient for us. So I think it's really, really cute. And so I'm going to share that with you today. Now, this is a digital file. You're not going to get anything like tangible unless you go and you print this yourself. You go on her website, you buy it, and you get all the resources, all the information that you need to be able to do this study. The only thing that you're going to need to do is find yourself two required text. Now, one of them is me and my place in space. I actually found this as a read aloud on YouTube, so I didn't buy this book. I think it's fine for us to use it as a read aloud, but I do recommend that you get the first space encyclopedia. I happen to already have this because I wanted to do space this year. We just hadn't started it yet, but when I found this, it was definitely go time for space. So yes, you're gonna wanna get the first encyclopedia or she even gives you a couple of alternatives down here that you could use instead. So she gives you some reading ideas, some additional book lists, some read aloud suggestions. Um, and then she also even gives you a couple of little video clips and um, from the Magic School Bus that you could use. So that's really, really fun. It's full of activities, a schedule idea, and then she gives you a supply list for all 10 units. So it's just great. It's full of all the printables that you'll need and it's really, really pretty. And then, like I said, everything's included pretty much except those first two books. Now she has this solar system fact book that you're gonna use throughout the whole unit. And you can set this up any way that you want, but this is how we decided to set ours up. I just took one big piece of paper and folded it in half and then gave it a, co a cover. One day while I was reading aloud, I had her I had her color the cover really prettily and then I went ahead and started making some of the items that we would need. Now I went ahead and put as many pieces of paper of construction that I'm gonna need and I went ahead and printed this out which is the sheets that come with the program. Each lesson you will talk about a specific thing and then you can use this to add to it. We chose to start with astronauts. It wasn't really part of it, but that is what we decided to do as our first original writing. So we got to make this cute little um, astronaut, uh, her little pictures under here. It's adorable. I love this so much. Um, and then after we talked about the astronaut, we read the astronaut section out of our first encyclopedia. And this book is great. Um, I'm really pleased with this one. It's really, really colorful. Um, it's not super text heavy, so you get a lot of good information without it being overwhelming. 
and the unit study from Little Smiths tells you what pages to read when. So the astronaut pages are already there. You know exactly where to go for this and you can get in there and you can read it. Now, as we go through there, I have her write something that we learned about this day. Now, this is where you can kind of modify it for your age. If you have a younger student, they can narrate back to you what an interesting fact was about astronauts and you can write it down for them. Or if you have an older student, have them write it down. If you have an even older student that you're expecting more of, put a little section in here for them to write a paragraph about the astronauts or whatever. I think you could beef this up for any age group and have so much fun with the little crafts and the activities. Here we were talking about the space station. So again, I made a little extra page for that. A lot of times I would like her to either draw or um, create something artistically for this. But for this, we just printed off the space station and then I had her tell me something interesting about it and write it down. So here I already have it prepped for next week where we're gonna be talking about the rockets and then next we'll be talking about the moon. And so all of these are here ready for me to just paste this in here and go on. So this is the little fact book that you can use. Now something else that she has included in here is we'll be making a movable solar system. So it comes with the attached printables here and then it tells you how to make this. So this is another one that we will start making once we get to that first section and then we will attach them and use them. So you could really use this however you wanted. If you didn't wanna use this little craft, you would have all of the little printables and you could put it on a poster board or however you thought would be the coolest way to do it. Now let's look at a unit here. So unit one was the introduction to space, astronauts, and rockets. For us, we did space and astronauts, and then we're gonna do rockets, and we're just kind of taking our time with it and enjoying it. So like I mentioned, she tells you exactly what you're gonna need. So we started out with listening to me and my place in space on YouTube, and then we read pages four through seven of our first space encyclopedia right here. That's where we kind of stopped that day. We did a little bit of like narration sort of things, did a little bit of coloring that day. And then the next day we did astronauts. Again, she gives us the page numbers that we need for astronauts. Here are some additional books that you can read if you want to. Here's some really cool videos that she adds in as far as astronaut videos. I want to be an astronaut, tells you who they're from. And these are all on YouTube. Same thing with space, you have your page numbers, you have some extra additional books that you could read, and there's a few videos to go along with that. Now the activities is where I think this is just key. I love these activities so much. Here is the little astronaut. Here she even used like a little um, applesauce cup to put over it so it looks like they have their little space helmet on. It's so very cute. We made astronaut ice cream, which the instructions are attached. Then we're gonna make a space shuttle and then there's even a little snack. All your printables are included. All of the directions are included. Like I said, you really only need a few things, which are like simple supplies that you're gonna have around your house. And then this one for sure. I think you need this one in person see if your library has it, something like that. I think she does even list a few alternatives, but it's not gonna have the matching page numbers. So let's say you have a different um, space encyclopedia. I'm sure that that is gonna work just perfect. You just are gonna have to do the legwork to find like the matching ones, which shouldn't really be too hard, honestly. So if you don't have that, see if you have something that could work. Um, unit two will be the moon. Again, we have a reading, additional books, videos, activities, so many activities and all the printables that you're gonna need. Now, as I said, I have a fourth grader, so I wanna beef this up a little bit. And one of, one of the ways that I am doing that is I have purchased a lit guide for Rover Story. So it's not really 
a lint guide per se, but it is a mentor sentences. And so we have used ideas by Jivey before, but it's usually with chapter books. And you take one sentence out of the chapter book and you go through it and you kind of dissect it and find all of the good things that a sentence has, a subject, predicate, pronouns, adjectives, all of those things. And so I saw that she had it for a novel and our novel. So I was really, really excited. So we're going to be doing this. Um, it starts out with you, tells you exactly what pages to read. And then these are the subjects that you're going to be talking about. So we're going to be talking about introductory elements, relative adverbs, personification, all of these things throughout the whole book. And through each one, we're going to be really looking at one of the sentences. So for unit one, we're going to be it's not going to let me show you. It's going to flip it. But we're going to be looking at this sentence right here for that first unit. And each day we're going to do something with this. And so I love that I'm tying in some language arts with our space study. And I have been really, really pleased with these mentor texts. I feel like it's a great way to kind of learn some language arts. And we're tying it in with our space. Now, a few extra things that I have to go along with this are not necessary, but I think it'll just kind of add to it. Again, I have an older student, so I wanted to beef it up a little bit. I don't think it's necessary to beef this up, especially if you're using it for the intended ages. Um, but for us, I have a few things that I already had ready to go, so we might as well use them. We have a flat Stanley book, which is Stanley in Space. This will be a super fun little short read that she can independently read during our 10 unit time of using the space unit. We have a little picture book here, A Fly Guy Presents Space. Another picture book, well, it's actually one of those little like step into reading books, space, planets, moon, stars, and more. A few more reference books that I have here is the DK Smithsonian. So once we get to the star section, this will be fun for like a day when maybe we can just really check out some constellations, things like that. It even has this cool printable thing in the back that you can pull out and like kind of line up with the sky, I believe, which would be really, really fun. A few more just little reads that I have, what Miss Mitchell saw in the sky. And then when we talk about the moon, I have this book to go with it. Wide-Eyed Books is really, really cool. And so we have When We Walked on the Moon. This is, again, going to be great for this season where we're doing this study. I mean, we're doing it anyways. I have it. Do you need to go out and purchase this? No, but I already have it in my library. So what, maybe you have it or maybe you could get it from your library. These would be some really fun ones to add in along with this if you wanted to beef it up because you don't have to. I think it's going to be super cute just as is, but being able to tie in some language arts and some writing with what we're studying, I love that. I have one more book. Let me grab that. So my last little book that I have is The Magic School Bus Lost in the Solar System. So this I'm going to read as we go. So I'm probably not going to sit down and just read it all at once. But we're going to start out with the introduction of the solar system. And then once we get to different sections, we'll just kind of pause. So here we land on the moon. When we do our moon study, we'll read this. Then when we get to the sun, we'll talk about that. So I'm just going to stop once I get to a certain section. When we get to Venus, we're going to read this page and use this book, similar to how I'm going to use the encyclopedia. So just really quickly, um, back on the little school of Smiths um, for the units, we have the introduction to space, astronaut, and rockets. Unit two is the moon. Unit three is the sun. Unit four is introducing the solar system. Unit five is Mercury and Venus. Unit six is Earth and Mars. Unit seven is Jupiter and Saturn. Unit eight is Uranus and Neptune. Unit nine is the Milky Way. And unit 10 is stars and constellations. I am not planning to do one unit a week. I'm splitting this up. So for instance, we did space and astronauts for two weeks. Next week, we're gonna do rockets. So one unit I'm taking three weeks with. Now unit two, the moon, that'll be one week, one week, one week. 
But here I'm going to do Mercury one week and Venus the next week. So if it lists two things, I'm probably taking two weeks for that just because I am adding in extras. Um, I found a really fun rocket ship that we're going to make next week for our rocket study where you're using baking soda and vinegar. So we're going to do some things that are not in this, but I think it's great just as it is. Just because I have a fourth grader, I want to add a little bit more to it. So again, this is me and my place in space, and I found this from Little School of Smiths, and you can just go to her website. It was a really quick, easy purchase, and not affiliated, didn't get sponsored, anything like that. I just saw it, thought it was adorable. We are loving it, and I wanted to share it with you. Let me know what you think. Do you have any good resources that I might need to add to this for a fourth grader? All right, give me a thumbs up, consider hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.